Whether you just bought your first van, maybe you're upgrading to a newer model, taking delivery of the new home away from home isn't just about a new set of wheels, it's about entering a new lifestyle. Now the guys from Brisbane Camperland totally understand that and that's why they've set up their own spare parts and accessory store. Take a look, this place is fantastic. You can get all the stuff that you need to make life just that little bit more comfortable on the road. From the bare necessities to the creature comforts, in fact anything that you need for the van, motorhome or camper trailer, you'll pick it up right here. And after you've bought your new van from Brisbane Camperland, you'll be entitled to one of these. It's a Brisbane Camperland VIP card. It entitles you to store-wide discounts right here. This thing will come in very handy. Let's go shopping. With almost three decades experience in the caravan industry behind them, the team at Brisbane Camperland are fully aware that every caravan owner is different. And likewise, everyone has their own personal touches in mind. Whether it's a road atlas to help you find your destination, a larger set of mirrors to make reversing into a place much easier once you get there, or a 240 volt cable so that you can plug in and power up when it's time to settle down for the night. As well as accessories, there's also a spare parts department where you'll find everything you need from nuts and bolts to full replacement parts for repairs or restorations. Recently, Creek to Coast's own resident camping expert, Martin Bowman, spent a day with the Brisbane Camperland team, running through the first steps you need to take before hitting the road. So, you've saved up, you've made the commitment, you've realised the great Aussie dream of finally owning your own caravan. But for novices, there are a few things that helps to know so your first trip doesn't turn into a nightmare. The guys at Brisbane Camperland know all too well those little nasties that can ruin your first time out camping. And they go the extra mile to help you sort them out before you even leave their lot. So I'm now wedded to this van, but obviously there's a few things I need to get to know about her before we head out to the first night. Yeah, generally we try and run through a few basics with you, Martin. So your first step whenever you're setting your van up is to make sure the, that the van's level in order to get the best out of your refrigerator. Now, um, you're going to just use your jockey wheel to level up front to back and you might need to use some ramps underneath the wheels to get it level left to right, depending on your site. Paul has the insider tips, like making sure the door's open and pulling the awning out before putting up the roof. The roof? Just a matter of getting underneath the wide handle there, Martin, and lift straight up. Now, um, if we had the door closed at the moment, the amount of air that it would have to come in here wouldn't allow you to, to lift the roof up, so the suction wouldn't allow you to pop the top, which is the main reason we always set up with the door open. Right, yeah, most people wouldn't think about that, would they? No, I shouldn't think so. Once we've learned the tricks of the van, it's time to accessorise. So these are some of the things I'm going to need. Yeah, Martin, um, you'll always require a 15 amp power lead. All caravan parks run 15 amp power outlets, so that's a must have. You'll also need a food grade of water hose. Uh, you shouldn't drink out of a garden hose. It can make you a little bit crook, but um, a food grade of water hose. And then, of course, your solid or waste outlet. And of course, your towing mirrors, uh, not just for your safety, but also all the others on the road as well. 